G'day, g'day. How are we all? Welcome back to some SnowRunner, guys. I uh, hope we're all doing well. Uh, today, we are going to be doing... Possibly... Uh, let's see, actually. Let me just check. We've got... um, We've got a little bit of things to do today. We've got... We've got some contracts here. Uh, last episode, we did the food... The f well, not the food delivery. We did the, the farm and tools mission. And the wet harvest mission in the last episode. So that was pretty good. And I am thinking... What is this one here? The essentials. Deliver to Smithfield Dam. Oh, okay. So this is like where we got to go to another part of the map, pretty much. So we're not going to be doing that one. Uh, but we will accept it just so we, you know, have it in our little missions thing here. Uh, let's see. We've got the pipe dream here. Uh, this one... Deliver to factory. Okay, that's all the way up there. That's really far away. I don't think we can really do that one at the moment. That's quite the uh, quite the mission, but we'll, we'll activate it once again. Uh, Steel River Township. This is like, we've got a lot here. I think these are the ones we might be able to do. Yep, okay. So we've got town storage. This one's a pretty simple one. We've got consumables, wooden planks, and the fuel carrier trailer. Yeah, we could easily get that, I reckon. Uh, let's see what else. We've got delivered to warehouse, drill in spare parts. Deliver to that. Oh, okay. So I know what this one is. This is where we've got to get like a, a crane. And I think the, the drill in spare parts is down here somewhere. Yeah, this is like a... This is pretty much an easy one to do. But we've got to have a crane. Otherwise, we can't actually get it. So we've got a fuel trailer up there as well. That, that would be pretty good to get. Alright, what else we got? We got a few watchtowers as well. There's an upgrade part I wouldn't mind trying to get today, possibly. What I reckon we should do, we should drive de uh, up from here. Coming down this main little road here. And then pretty much turn left here and we'll go up this road here. And then we'll unlock this watchtower so we can unlock some, some more of the map just here. And then we'll follow this road. Continuing on, and then we'll take this little left here, and then down here, and then, oh, and then we'll go left again, and then get that upgrade part, I reckon. And then we might head back and see what else we can do in today's episode. But that's what we're going to start things off today, is uh, getting our uh, second watchtower. I think we've only gotten one or two. Yeah, I think we've only gotten one so far, so if we get the second one, that would be pretty good. I'm not sure what it's going to unlock. I think it might unlock, like, another upgrade. I'm really not sure. I don't think there's anything up up here really but we might as well get it for the xp and we might as well get this upgrade i don't know what it is the only way of finding out what that upgrade is is going up to it so we're going to do that i'm hoping it's going to be a part for a truck we have so yeah and last episode i mentioned that there was some cars i got uh for the anniversary and i said uh that i had to buy them that's actually not true because if you can see up here there's a green check mark with the with one on it and that means that we actually own it. Yeah, see, there's another one here. This is part of the anniversary one. We've got a check mark up here. And there's another one. Uh, where is it? Uh, the Marshall. Yep, we've got that one as well. And the Bandit. Yep, I think that's pretty much it. Yep, that looks... Yep, that's it. So, that's all we've got. But the only way to get them... Well, for me, since I've got the, the DLC... It's actually in here. <laughs> yeah, so they're just sitting in my, uh, my like, garage where the, you know, you pull them out of. See? They're just chilling here. So, basically, all we got to do is go here, and then we just deploy them. And boom. Just like that, we've got it. So, I thought we had to buy it, but I thought to myself, that's not right. Don't remember buying them. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we got the Bandit. We've got... The International HX520 and the Caterpillar CT681, the Marshall. Yeah, it's this one's really good for snow, I believe. I remember driving it around snow once. And it was, it was alright, not bad. Got the mud tires on it, so it's pretty good. This one's alright, and that one's alright. I think this one's, like, really good, though. What we'll do, we'll just deploy you, and then we'll just deploy... The Caterpillar one here. There we go. So, yeah, we pretty much got three brand new trucks now. 
But uh, we'll see what we can do with them, actually. We'll, we'll check out the Bandit first. Uh, we've got some engines here that we can... Some of them we can get in Russia and some we can get in North America. No gearboxes. There's no suspension upgrades. Alright, here we go. So... Huh. Yeah, okay, I see. So to get the mud tires, you've got to be only rank 12, which is, like, really small. So, that will be pretty easy to get. It'll take some time, obviously, but, you know, once we get these mud tires, this will be the best truck ever, really. Uh, winch, snorkels, frame add-ons, yeah, you can pretty much put anything on this truck. It's absolutely insane. See? Uh, for some reason, it's... Oh, that's the, that's the crane. That's the bed. I was a bit confused there. It looks like it's automatically got the... Yeah, it's automatically got the crane and the bed there. I just realized. Wow. Well... That saves us having to, uh, pay for those parts. Or them upgrades, I mean. But yeah, it's really, really not much. It's, you know, yeah, not much that's here. Might give that another color. I like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And the International, I don't know what's here. We've got, uh, let's see. Yeah, a few wheels, snorkels. Rear-wheel drive, yeah. This truck is really not good at the moment because we don't have all-wheel drive. And we can only unlock it once we re reach rank thir uh, 13. So, yeah, that's going to be quite a while. i just purchased that because it's free. Uh, uninstall it just so I can, you know, use it on another truck if I have to. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, it's really... Like, this truck was cool when I used it, but I didn't really use it that much because it wasn't that well. Because at the time, I only used uh, rear-wheel drive. Uh, this one here... This one... Oh, okay. So this is rank 13 as well. Oh, wait, I think the other one was 12, I think. But yeah, you get all-wheel drive. And that truck's really good. But, yeah. Alright. So, I'm not sure... This one has active suspension as well. If you can see by this, like, wheel here. You can, like, basically drop it down. And it, like, sort of helps you out in certain, like... Areas of like where you're stuck, sort of. I don't know. I don't really use it that much. Um, what truck do I want to use for this trip? I sort of want to use this one because it's got, it's got a bit like it's a bit high suspension, a little bit. We're gonna be going up like uphill, sort of. So maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, if we get the all terrain wheels, we'll be, we'll be pretty set. But uh, what I reckon we might do is we might just use this bandit truck. And just to make it uh, way less, we're going to actually uninstall these uh, parts off it. Because we're doing a bit of a scout mission. Now, this is like the... Per like, this would be perfect for it. Like, because it's a scout scout car. But I really don't like driving this this car. It's really, like, not the best for me. I, I, personally, I personally don't really like it that well. It feels really different to the trucks in a way. But... Yeah, so we're going to drive this. Oh, it's dark. Got to... Okay, there we go. We'll have... Yeah, you can see that the lost container, there's the drill and spare parts, and we just got to drop them off there. So, we might honestly do that on the way back from... What's it called? All right, then. So, let's start her up. This has uh, all-wheel drive and diff lock, and it's always on, which is good and bad. I'm guessing, because, yeah, because it uses up quite a lo lot of fuel. And it's bad, because sometimes we're on the main road, and it's always using all-wheel drive when we don't need it. So, let's have a look at the interior. Eh, it hasn't changed much since the last time I used this. It's really nice, though. Really, like, open sort of sort of area here. Really nice. This truck was a beast. Like, early game. It was so good. I'll try to avoid using this truck uh, early game, but I sort of want to just drive it just to show you fellas how good this truck is at some things at the moment. But once we get the mud tires, this truck will be pretty much unstoppable. So yeah, with the crane not being there and the, the sideboard bed, 
it's basically going to make the truck a little bit more like lightweight in a way so when we're going up those like those hills it won't sort of like we won't be like as heavy sort of thing there's a uh, fuel trailer there we should go to unlock as well but oh well this interior is cool it's like it's it feels like an actual proper sort of truck in a way but it's got like that that field of view like the other trucks it's like a little pickup you sort of thing some trucks are but this one's a beast absolute beast All right, we got to go to the right here one day and activate that mission where there's like a, a broken power line. We got to get that road fixed. I don't know what I need to actually fix it again. I think it's like service parts or something. All right, so what we're going to do, so we're going to turn left. Oh, oh, we're not going to make that. Come on. Here we go. Nice. Oh, I keep forgetting to uh, do that little trick where you sort of, you know, you, you shift up and it puts you in the, like, fourth. Alright, here's the road. We've got a bit of mud here. Uh, we're just going to just go around that. Just like that. Easy. Now, with these wheels, I think this truck will handle quite well. Now, where's the road? Okay, it's over there. I was a bit confused. I was thinking, is it to my left or to my right? I wasn't sure, but, you know. Yeah, this truck is, um... <laughs> it's got quite a big cabin on it, so... Got to sort of... Avoid. It's a bit of a tight squeeze sometimes with this truck. Yeah, this truck can, like, you know, it's qu pretty big up at the front, so you've got to sort of squeeze into things. All right, come on. There we go. Yeah, that all-wheel drive and diff lock is absolutely just helping us a lot here. All right, here we go. See, that's what I mean. Like, when you mark stuff on the, on the map, it actually helps you sort of find where the road is if you exactly mark where it is on the map and here's the watchtower oh i don't know what just happened there our engine just turned off all of a sudden that was weird come on oh yeah we got some deep mud here yeah i could see the truck slowing down there i was a bit confused all right so we're just gonna we're just gonna do this because why not doesn't really do anything i don't think it just it's just a little cinematic really so if we open up the map yeah, see, it didn't really even open up anything. It sort of it just showed us the map more, really. Uh, which is nice. But it didn't unlock anything. So we're going to we're gonna continue on, eh? We're going to continue on our journey. This truck is going pretty good so far. So we'll just continue on. Alright. Oh, this... Oh, a few lag spikes there. Oh. Wow, okay. Here we go. Come on. Yep, <laughs> see what I mean? The cabin's sort of like, it's sort of, you know what I mean? Like the, the front end sort of sticks down. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a bit bit rocky, this section here. Take it pretty easy. All right, come on. Yeah, that's what I mean. The cabin's like, it just hits everything pretty much. If you're not careful. Oh, okay. Uh, bit of a sharp left here. All right, come on. There we go, hitting the ground there. That's all right, we're climbing though, we're going. Yeah, this is some uh, really enclosed sort of areas at the moment. Like, imagine doing this in third person. Oh, not third person, first person. Like, the visibility is in... Oh, actually. Wow, look at that. That is going to be quite a task. Oh, yep. That wasn't going to work. We, we've got to... Okay, this is really... Let's see. So we've got to sort of... 
we've got a big rock there that's like a little little, little rock come in that's like sort of making things a little difficult but it's all right okay <laughs> let's see i'm gonna go in low gear see if that will just sort of help we want to go up this like wall bit here there we go there we go come on up you get oh a little stuck there all right nice wow that was yeah this truck is not ideal for those sort of things just because how like how wide it is in a way like the cabin sort of sticks out just as much as the wheels does like with how wide it is so not good at all all right come on got another little tight section here all right we made it through We should be getting close now. There it is. There's the little, uh, the little windmill looking thing. <laughs> Alright. And there we are. There's the upgrade. Alright. We're just gonna oh, just park up here. Raised upgrade. Now we can press X to see what the, the truck list. And look at that. It's for the Chevrolet. So that's for the little scout car that we own. Wow, okay. That's pretty good, actually, because when it's raised, it's quite nice. But sometimes you can tip it over at high speeds. So, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to drive back because it's sort of going to... Because what we're going to do is we're basically just going to drive back anyway. So, yeah, we're basically, we're basically going to recover the, the truck back. There we go. Now, I want to do that mission that we said we were going to do. Uh, but what with? Hmm. I want to try some of these trucks, maybe. I don't want to do this one because we've already used this one today. So, yeah, let's use the Caterpillar, I reckon. We should do that, I reckon. Just to uh, give it a chance. Uh, sideboard trailer? Hmm. Crane. Can we put a crane? Yes, we can. 5,700. Wow, that's a lot. If we get that, though, we can put it on any truck if we uh, take this off. So we might as well buy that. Uh, how come... Oh, wait, hang on. If I do this, get you, and if I just take the sideboard trailer, or the bed, I mean, off you, come back to you, and then frame add-ons. Look at that. Oh, we already had two. Spare. Ah, huh, interesting. Anyway, well... Yeah. Okay, we got we're using the forty threes at the moment. If we went up another size, that would be pretty good, I reckon. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking what we should do: buy these wheels, and then we can just sell these wheels because we're never going to use these wheels. So, yeah, we might as well step up one. And yeah, anything else that we can possibly buy that might help us? Is this none of these will help us really? Spray paint. Oh, the red and black looks cool. I like the white, though. I like the white and, like, the orange. That's pretty cool. All right, well, here we go. It's currently raining. Now, what we're going to do on the map is we're just going to mark up where we're going. So, here. Uh, we're going to go up this road. We didn't go up this road before. We went sort of around. So, we're going to go up here this time. And we're going to... Going here would go... Uh, going up here would be pretty good as well, where that watchtower is. So... Yeah, we'll pick up them drill spare parts and we'll deliver them to the warehouse. We'll check out the interior. Wow, it's... The FOV is really weird on this one. It's, like, really up close. Like, see, that's zoomed in and that's, like, like zoomed out. But, yeah, the interior is quite nice in this truck as well. You know, a bit modern, which is nice. But yeah, it's just, I feel like there's, it's too zoomed in, like, that's all the way zoomed in, and then that's, like, all the way out. I don't know, my FOV settings are, like, pretty default, I think. So, yeah, it's a bit weird. Oh, actually, you know what I just realized? We are using this truck, which means I don't think it's going to go well with the, what's it called? 
I don't think it will. Oh, no. This might have to be a uh, little bit of a... Might have to use the winch a bit. Well, this didn't... This didn't really go out that well. It's alright. We can... We can use the winch. It should help us, really. Yeah. We've got to position ourselves a little better here. I want to go up to the right because that's a bit less muddy, I believe. So... I'm just gonna... There we go. Really hoping this truck can do it for us. Really, yep, there we go. Oh, yeah, we're a little stuck. That's all right. We've got a, we've got a winch here. Uh, I think we can, we can use this dead tree. There we go. Yeah. It can snap off. Some can. But, you know, if you're lucky, they might not. Yeah, we're stuck again. Oh, we just, uh, we just got swallowed up by the mud there. All right, though. We've got the winch to save us here. I think we can do it. I reckon we can get through this. We might have to run over this tree, but, you know, we should be able to winch ourselves to that wooden pole there. Yeah, okay, it's not winching us in any further. Yes, we can just reach it. That's good. Yeah, look at that. It's pulling us heaps good. Because it's like a, a fixed item sort of thing. Like a prop. There we go. Come on. Good stuff. Alright, how are we going to do here? Should be right. I'm going to stick to the right because it's still a little bit muddy to the, in, the, in the left. So. Oh, yep. And there we go. Uh, we've got a tree here. That, that does not look like a good enough tree. Oh, no. Maybe it is. Yep. I thought it was going to break. That's all. It just didn't look right. Come on. Oh, we're actually... It's not, that's not very good. We've got another tree here. Wow. This is like a really good, like a really good path to go. Because it's like just trees that you can winch yourself in on. If you just stick to the right... Alright, uh, I think maybe if we winch to this, we should be good. Yeah, honestly, with this truck not having all-wheel drive, like, it did pretty well, not gonna lie, it did pretty well on its own for a bit. Uh, we can get to that tree there. That'll help us get out of this little bit here and get us on the on the dirt road there we go all right look at that see imagine if this game without a winch like how hard would it be without a winch in this game yeah by the looks of this maybe going up this hill might be a little bit challenging for this let's just go in low gear i don't think that's going to help Nah, right, we're going to chuck the handbrake on, and we're pretty much just going to winch ourselves up using whatever environment we have. Oh, I did not mean to release the winch. All right, All right, let's go. Come on. Well, see, we're sort of getting pulled off too much to the left, but that's fine, because that's sort of getting us closer to other things, which it isn't at the moment. It's all right, though. Alright, let's see if we can get the, the back end lifted up here. There we go. Alright, uh, we can winch ourselves to that tree now, which is good. Oh, I did not mean to release it again. Oh, that's really not good. Yeah, okay. Uh, what can we do? We can get... That tree's gonna snap, though. Yeah, you see what I mean? That one's gonna snap because it was just, like, a small tree. If we could get our... Like... Yeah, if we could winch that part of the truck to that. We could lift ourselves up a lot more. Potentially... Maybe slightly on this rock. Oh. 
this is really not a good yeah not oh no we just oh we just lost all that progress rip all right well i don't think going up here is the best idea with this truck i want to try it one more time so we're just gonna we're gonna sort of we're stuck again yeah i think with this truck it's really not the best way to go yeah yeah there's nothing we can even like winch ourselves onto here so all right i'm gonna just release all right so we're not gonna do that we're gonna reverse and we're just gonna go the other way because that's what I mean. Like, all-wheel drive in this game is an absolute must. It's, like, physically impossible to do anything with the terrain. And, you know, without all-wheel drive, you're basically... You're done for, pretty much. So, we're going to go this way. And hope it's going to be a lot more easier. Alright, we're sort of stuck here, but we can use this tree. That might break. Oh, look at it. It wants to go so badly. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Alright, tree. You'll be there next time for me, won't you? Alright. Yep. We're in the deep mud here. Oh, okay. We're sort of actually a bit stuck here. Sort of moving forward. Uh, what I could do, I could get this winch to sort of pull us, pull the side of the truck. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. See, so we had to just sort of adjust the truck a bit, so the back wheels could get like, out of the deep mud. Oh, we're in low gear there. All right. We're making our way slowly. Or oh, probably go off to the right here. Yeah, I really don't want to get in that mud, which we sort of got stuck in. Yeah, alright, we're stuck in the mud. So let's grab you. And let's pull ourselves out of here. Okay, we got a rock here, which seems to be blocking us. So we might have to like actually reverse and then go around that rock. Because since we don't have all-wheel drive, we can't sort of get that front wheel to sort of pick itself up. That's in the wrong way. There we go. There we go. See? Nice. Okay, we're going on some, uh, just some dirt here. Some good old dirt. I wish it was like that on the whole way there, really. With this truck, it would be so easy for it, but, you know, that wouldn't be as fun. Now, honestly, I think what we should do is we should try go over to the right because I reckon if we go through that, we might honestly just like completely lose the truck forever. Yeah, look at that. We've got some deep mud there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to go around that pretty much. There we go, just like that. Come on. Oh. Sort of. There we go. Oh, we had a tree there that was blocking us. Okay. Wait. Oh, wow. I just realized that is actually. That was so quick. So, last episode, we went through that, right through it, through where that water was. 
And we could have just gone around that, like, super quickly. We spent like five minutes, uh, the last episode, just trying to get out of there with the other truck, but, uh, this, it just didn't even take a minute. Yeah, okay, I remember this part here was a little hard as well. Alright, come on. Alright. Up you get. I sort of wish I went to my right, but I think, if I remember, the right was, like, pretty muddy as well. So, yeah, so if we get the rear here, and then we just get it winched up. It'll get those back wheels out of the mud. Yeah, there we go. See? Just like that. And we're out of the mud for now. Yeah, we're getting closer. We're getting close. Oh, okay. I, I kind of like just went through that without even realizing. It's alright though. We've got a winch here. We've got a, a, part, we've got a thing we can winch to here, so we'll be right. Nice. Come on. There you go. Alright, so it's only one drill in spare parts we're going to do. So, it'll be pretty easy. Alright, we are here at the warehouse. So, we've got to get this part here. Now, when it comes to, like, getting things, like, on uneven terrain, it's a little, a little funny because we can sort of tip our truck if we're not careful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to line myself up. Alright, so what I'm going to do is we can go into activate anchor. There we go. And that will pretty much stabilize the truck while we use the crane. Here we go. Well, we've got our controls down at the bottom here. And pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to click that. And boom, we've got it winched. And what is it? C to lift. There we go. Lift the winch up. And we'll lift the crane up as well. And we'll just drag it to our truck. Oh, too low. Got to lift it up a bit more. Now, you don't have to perfectly line it up. It sort of just has to be at least, like, good enough where it can sort of fit. So, we're going to just lower it. Come on. There you go. So, what we can do is just detach... And we can exit out of that and we'll restore our crane so it gets rid of the anchor and resets the crane to its original position. And now all we've got to do is a cargo. Just like that. So, oh, I did not mean to turn on the crane. Whoops. Uh, restore crane. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to reverse our way out of here safely without tipping the truck. Honestly, I've made it so hard for myself using this truck to get all through that terrain back there. Honestly, we could have just used the, uh, the, what's it called? The Flea Star. It would have been just so much easier. Hey, how are we? And we just unload. There we go. Not much money, really, or XP. It's, you know, just a little something on the side. But that's all right. We got paid for it. That's all that matters. And we uh, we helped out a little company, or the, the warehouse. So, wait. Oh, that's right. We had those markers there, as if we were going up here. But we didn't go up there, because our truck could not do it. Sadly. Let's see. Uh, 
we've done quite a, we've done like a little bit today we've gotten an upgrade and we've helped out uh delivering some like lost cargo so yeah so that might honestly do it for today's episode so yeah so um so yeah i hope you all enjoyed uh today's episode if you enjoyed be sure to like comment down below if you have any tips or tricks for this or for this game be sure to subscribe as well it really helps out a lot and also this is going to be the last snow runner episode for the series for quite some time because i sort of want to move back over to some my summer car and i know a lot of you guys love the my summer car content so we'll be going back over to there uh and, you know, I've also, I've also really wanted to get back into it because we sort of left things off on a cliffhanger there, you know, because we ordered new parts and we got the phone call saying from Timo that, you know, we got the parts in and we're ready to go. And I really want to get them uh, parts installed. So we'll be, you know, getting back onto the Myers and McCuss, uh series. So I do apologize for those that really enjoyed the SnowRunner content. But I know some of you really loved uh, Myers and McCuss as well. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll upload any other sort of games at the moment because i know a lot of you really really love my summer car but at the same time i sort of want to upload stuff that i enjoy playing as well so this is yeti signing off see you guys